didn't know he, he was my son, did I, Sandra? But I've, I've, I've got a broken arm. What do you mean you don't care? What? Ooh. Ooh. Sandra. Sandra? I've been, I've been wanting to do this subject for ages. Take on a real white supremacist. They, they don't have a leg to stand on. Easy, easy argument. It'll be good. I can't believe someone so young would be a, a fascist openly. No, my son. No. Is there someone out there? What the, uh, hey. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Yeah. 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 Richard. Richard? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Come on in. What are you doing today? Oh. What are you here for? My supremacy. I'm Antifa. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Antica. Antifa. You're old. Yeah. Anti-fascist. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what sort of things do the, like, anti-fascists do? Well, we go to rallies, you know, we, we you know, protest against... Rallies? Like yeah. racing? <laughs> no, protest against the anti... You know, against the fascists and oh, right, neo-Nazis yeah. and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. the fucking Nazis. Yeah, yeah. Hate them. Yeah, you know, I can't wait to get on the show and get going. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, make yeah. a love that, man. Yeah, You carry sure. on going. You could go. Go. Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. doing what are you playing at well we're gonna have the, a conversation on the internet with um with the um, american person aren't we yeah we'll sort it out then fix it yeah, 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 yeah it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine it's getting there what's wrong with you man you just seem down what's wrong with you come on well i got i got, I got dumped by sandra you didn't i by sandra you still going out with her yeah we were dodging bottles you know they were throwing bottles of stone sticks the lot at us all we were doing was trying to be peaceful and just you know Stop them peacefully, and all yeah. they were doing is just violence, violence, violence all the oh, time. You know, yeah. Wow, you're you're really on the front oh, line doing yeah, this stuff. Yeah, definitely. We all came away with scars, our blood everywhere. You know, then the police came in, and what did they do? Went for us, for us. You know, there's us under all this pressure from these guys, all this violence, and we're the ones who get it in the neck. You know. The I'll tell you what, the police are fascists. <laughs> Definitely, mate. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, Nigel Farage is coming down to Portsmouth uh, uh, February sort of time. Mm. Uh, I, I'm thinking of going down there and, and saying something, you know, get them some placards out and, yeah. and stuff. Well, just know. go down there. Just, you know, you should yeah, go, on, go down there and give them some. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would, you, yeah. would you come with us? Oh, February, I can't, man. I've got South, South America we're going to. South, South America. America, yeah. You should come with us. Well, uh, I've, 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 I've got the show to do, and but uh, yeah, I, I really need to oh, stay here and, and really? Come record on. the show. This is more important. Come on. Yes. I'll get back to you on it. I'll, 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 let, I'll let you know. We'll, uh, we'll see. Well, I haven't done that much, but it still hurts, doesn't it? Does it? Shouldn't even care about my arm being broken. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to that? Didn't you hear? Well, me and Christian, like, there was yeah. people being, like, abusive and, like, stuff and, like, racist and that. Right. So we went round to confront him about it and tell him to stop. Fair enough, okay. And yeah, enjoyed. with you so far. Well, there was and loads of them. Loads of them. Loads of them. What, like, three? Four? Four. Four. Yeah. Well, there only two of us. <sighs> they, they, they punched us. You should have invited me down, I got kicked. Well... That's what you get for being a superhero, I guess. Well, that's true, yeah. yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake, mate, look. 
Hey guys, it's Candy White here. Thank you for having me on your show. Kevin, I see you're looking lovely as always. Marty. And uh, is it Kev or Kevin? Um, well, I mean, just thank you again for having me on here. Um, what was the other one's name? Hold on, I'm sorry. What was the other one? Uh, Mick. Mick, Kev, and Marty. Okay, we're good now. So, Candy, what is it you believe in? Well, sir, I do believe that one of the most positive things that's going on right now here in our great country is that the white people are coming back to their origins, and we're finally coming out on top, where for so many years, um, mainly my whole life that I can remember, we've always been oppressed, and we've never had anyone speak up for us. Basically, it's always been about um, placating everybody else, where just everybody else has got to be babied and taken care of, and um, everyone forgets about the origins of this country and all these myths with Christopher Columbus and just, you know, we did just have Thanksgiving here. I don't know what you all celebrate over there, but, you know, it's a very uh, misconstrued hot pot uh, just of lies over here for that holiday. And now we can't even talk about proper history. We can't have proper monuments. We're not able to... You know, all this stuff for so long, but now I feel like it's coming to a head where our great citizens of this country are coming up and rising, coming together, banding, so that we can overturn this sort of um, minority thinking where, you know, we're the ones that build up this country if you want to get real real. You know, like I say on my channel, you know, everyone's free to speak here, but we are the home of the free and the land of the brave. Or is it the land of the free and the home of the brave? Well, you know, I wish just, see, I can't even keep our, our good slogans that have come from the good soil of our country up straight because all this hogwash that goes back and forth and just, it makes everybody just a little bit confused. But we are such a great country, and again, it's a wonderful time to be alive here. Yeah, that's what we were taught in school. But he was a murderer. He went over there and colonized the place. Yeah? Why do you think it's white? It's not white. There are Native Americans there first. And he murdered many, thousands of them. Thousand. So count, you know, Native Americans are the true Americans, not you, not white people. And now they're treated as second-class citizens and stuck in their reservations, unable to do anything, all because of your white race. Yeah. I mean, the only thing Trump has done is legitimise the KKK and Nazis. I mean, hello, Charlottesville, anybody? Who's Charlottesville? I'll, t I'll tell you later. I mean, it astounds me that you could possibly believe that America w would fall for this white supremacist nonsense, given how multicultural Amer America is and how multicultural it has always been. Uh, most of the people in America at some point were immigrants or their parents were immigrants or, or they, their great grandparents were immigrants. How do you think that America is gonna buy into this nonsense? Well, like I said, I believe in this because of Donald Trump. I mean, he has been such a wonderful leader, and so far, we've seen so much progress. And I know, um, you know, a lot of people get confused, and they're just, you know, they're not realizing because of the media. It's, it's basically, we've got Donald Trump in power now. And uh, basically, he's, he's here to clean up everyone else's mess, especially that last president. What a mess he made, for sure. And so, basically, he is here to get us out of the, the pooper, my, my language, and get everything cleaned up to where we can get our jobs strengthened, we can get our economy strengthened, we can get 
all this other stuff that we need with our infrastructures just rebuilt from the ground up where everyone's been tearing it down, especially morality wise. We got so many people thinking that they're doing the wrong thing and they're not loving their neighbor because they're not understanding where they're coming from and bringing them half their paycheck. And so we've got Donald Trump here making America great again and just reminding people that we are great. We've always been great. But we can always be greater with a strength and mentality and a good leader. And basically, we have so many problems over here that have gone not addressed for so long because all this PC, all the PC in the world is not going to make this country great again. We have got to come together and just be blunt. And forgive me for saying, but I always say on my channel, it's good to just speak the truth. Speak your truth. And that's what I'm here to do. Race isn't a thing. The only race we are is the human race. So, what, I mean, what's the history you believe in then? That's great. We did. What? So you say the whites are winning again. How? Well, again, like I touched on, gentlemen, the media has just been lying to everybody, and I can't bear it anymore, but uh, our good president has been saying about this false news and for a while now and opening people's eyes to it that they haven't even understood that this news that you're watching is run by the Jews, and the Jews have all the money, and they just hoard it all over there, and they just, they're able to buy all this uh, airtime, and people look to their news to find out what's going on in the world, which is why my YouTube channel is so important. My YouTube channel provides, especially with the youth here, a resource where we can speak openly about our feelings and not get judged, but also we can find good resources with the truth uh, based out of roots of our country where we can stay true to our heritage. And again, I just don't know if y'all have been paying attention, but we have been having a lot of issues with immigrants coming in here. And I think that's a big, big problem that we've been having for way too long. And I know that y'all have heard of Brexit. So again, one of the things that our president has been judged on is letting these immigrants in from other countries. But we, we want to be pure over here. Like, why are we not allowed to be pure over in our country and celebrate our heritage and our roots? We got to be a mixy melting pot of all these other countries. If you want to go to that country, then you go on over to that country. You don't have to bring it over here. And you especially don't need to change us because we want to remain at the heart of our country true to ourselves. And again, if I might be speaking too harsh, if you don't understand what I'm saying... I do have my YouTube channel, Candy White, on YouTube, and I have lots of informational videos that may be a little bit more softer side. Um, I just can't help it, but I gotta speak my truths when you got you know, when you have me on here. When someone wants to speak to me, I'm just so proud of my country and proud of where I came from that I can't help myself. So thank you so much. Same, 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 isn't it? Blaming the Jews for everything. <sighs> yeah, that's all I hear. Like George Soros is not the devil. He's just a normal guy like us. Just because he's a Jew, you hate him. It's his fault. <sighs> you, know, you know who's worse? Yeah, The Koch family. <laughs> They're worse. <laughs> they control all of the media, or at least most of the media, in America. But no, we just blame the Jews, 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 Jews. And I bet you're wearing a pair of clothing, jeans or anything that is made by Jews right now. I don't think you actually understand what Brexit is. What is the, Brexit? The, the fact that we are going to have an import of GM foods. The fact that our entire diet of our next generation is going to be... Well, obesity now. The fact that migrant workflow is going to be collapsed. Wh where are you going to get the people to build anything anymore? Immigration, tourism, all of these things are necessary for this economy. And you think us jumping out 
of the only unionization that we've got is going to help. I mean, do you think it's only white British that have built this country? I mean, the whole fact of Britain is it's an empire. A an empire! You're really not a nice person, are you? <clears throat> right, Candy. I I've let you have your say. And now you're going to listen to me. You preach, brother. Preach. Yeah. The, the, Tell him. The link. The link. The link. Where's the link gone? Marty, get the... Right. Sorry. I'm sorry. You alright there, bud? No. I feel like I've let Mick down, haven't I? No. I fell over the stuff. No, that was okay. That, that part didn't really matter. Well, the link didn't work. That one did a little bit more. No, it's, it's not the first time, is it? I've messed it up for Mick. No, no. No, it's not the first time. But it'll be all right, like you say. No. It'll be okay. It'll no. It'll be okay. No. no. It's not going to be good. Oh, don't I've made a decision. You have? We need a new producer for the show. No, no, don't say that. We're gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let someone else do the producing to help Mick get better, and, and it'll be much better for everyone. Well, if you think it's best, you know. I mean, you, you do a great job. You do do a great job. Not good enough. Oh, it's it's good. It's good. It's good, Marty. It's good. It's okay. It's going to be okay. For God's sake, Kev, what was that today? She was fit. I, d I don't care if she's fit. You don't sit there on my show gawping at Nazis, okay? Yeah, it was a shame she was horrible. She was nasty. Yeah, she, yeah, she obviously was really, she was nasty. She you, was fit. She was fit. You know what? Your, your, your lack of professionalism is, is beyond the point now, right? You even laughed at the word cock. <laughs> you said cock. K-O-C-H, cock, as in the Cock Brothers. Why is that... <laughs> Why is that <laughs> funny? Anyway, you're not angry at me, you're angry at Marty, come on. He's the one that fucked up your interview and, like, with the webcam and stuff. Oh. Hey, how you doing, uh, buddy? Hey. Yeah, well, hey, you know. All right. Yeah, I don't think I uh, want to be on the show anymore, you know. Oh, you know, I... I... You've know, you, you done, you know, real good stuff, but, you know. If you really want to come to South America with us, then... That's can... South America? Yeah. Off to Portugal. And now for Stocks and Decline, with me, Kevin Decline. And what's happened in the world? Oh, October has been finally... This, there's been trillions taken off the US stock market. They've done some sort of recalculation or something, and turns yeah. out they're not as good off as they thought they were. Trump, you know, that's Trump for you, I guess. Anyway, and that's all for Stocks in Decline. There's nothing on the paper. I know, it's for sound effect, shout. Do, 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 do. Oh, right, do, 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 do. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to finish by apologising to our audience at home. We believe that we could beat uh, white supremacy on this show. We believe that we could fight against fascism on this show. And whilst we still can win the arguments... I think the lesson to be learnt here is that whenever we try to engage with these people, we will end up inadvertently giving them a platform. Sometimes it's better to just not allow these people the space to uh, spread their views, to, to spread their warped and twisted ideologies. So for that, we, we truly apologise. But seeing as I didn't get to say my piece to Candy, because she disappeared read into that what you will i will take the opportunity now to say something about white supremacy in america for too long in america the idea of liberalism has dominated entirely both republicans and democrats were liberals that and the focus entirely on the idea of being unbiased and freedom of speech has allowed 
fascism to grow in an, a terrifying manner. Freedom of speech cannot be allowed to stop truth from getting to people. It cannot be allowed to spread lies. That is the fundamental problem with a blanket idea of freedom of speech. It's the problem with a, a media that attempts to be unbiased by comparing climate scientists to climate deniers, when there is evidently one side that has the truth, one side that is based on fact, reason and science, and the other side is total nonsense, partisan, uh, corporate sellouts. this episode, mate. We've never not aired one before. I know. I mean, I suppose losing the feed is the kind of the same as someone walking out? Well, <clears throat> yes, but, oh, but just why, why did she just like, put the uh, hang up on us? It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, that was messed up. Especially when you were just about to say your point. You were just about to tell her a I brand mean, new asshole. I, I honestly, we, we listened to her, and yeah, we, we rebutted, and she would have had her opportunity to rebut to us, but... That's really, it's just, just ridiculous. It's a shame. It was a real shame, that was. I think, I think it's clear but I've let you down as a father over this. What? Huh? what? I, I'm the problem. I'm not a good producer. I, I think, I think it's time to get in someone more professional to take my role over. No. No, mate. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's all right. We'll find someone. Who are you thinking? <laughs>